Hello, my name's Terry Gable. We're actually sitting on a very nice day in the Coleridge Way Garden, which is part of Porlock Visitor Centre. I live in Porlock. I've lived in Porlock for a long time, about 15 years. Moved here from Exford, which is right out on the moor. And I love this part of the world. Porlock's such a wonderful place. Um, beautiful countryside and also the people are very nice and supportive as well. It's in a wonderful location. Just behind you that you can't see is the coastline. Beautiful um, horizon over towards Wales. Behind we've got the green velvet of Exmoor. Um, I appreciate it perhaps, I won't say a little more than most, but I take a, a keen interest in the different seasons on Exmoor and particularly by the coast because I'm an artist. What is the inspiration for your art on Exmoor? As I said, I love living on Exmoor because it gives me so much inspiration. Really, I'm an animal portraiture um, artist, so that's why I do a lot of work for um, Exmoor Pony Society. Whenever they've got anything to promote or I've designed them t-shirts and publicity in any way so I like doing horses and dogs and cats and domestic animals as well as farm animals and things but there's nothing better than to be sitting by yourself up on the moor or down in a nicely wooded coombe with the river running past it being an artist is being like a fisherman it gives you an excuse just to sit there and do nothing and be part of the landscape for a long time undisturbed but when I go out and I want to do things that I think maybe people might like to buy rather than just pictures of animals, I really like to go down to Porlock Weir. Let's face it, when you go down to Porlock Weir and you look around, there is nothing that you can't paint or draw down at Porlock Weir. Everything is pretty with the boats and the coastline and the rustic harbour and the steps and the water and the view across from um, Paul Weir right over to Hurlston. It's just such a beautiful place. You just turn around and you've got inspiration there all the time and I've got it right on my doorstep. It's only a mile and a half down the road. So I would say if I wanted to sit and do nothing for a long time it would be down at Paul Weir. So can you tell me more about the um, Cold Ridge Way Garden? Yes, the Cold Ridge Way Garden that we're sitting in now was really um, made as a focal point for the Coleridge Way Walk. Uh, the Coleridge Way Walk starts at Nether Stowey and initially used to finish at Porlock but now it travels on to Linton. Um, and it was a way of introducing people to follow the footpath of the Romantic poets across Exmoor but taking them inland on Exmoor and going between the small villages rather than just focusing on the coastline. They needed a place to come, to sit, to be photographed and to be given their certificate for the walk that they had done and so we decided to do a garden with mural and um, this nice picnic table and also archway that illustrates part of Kubla Khan. So when we wanted to illustrate Kubla Khan, which was particular to Porlock, we chose two or three little phrases that we could ideally um, artistically represent in this small space in the corner of the garden. Um, the first one was the in Xanadu de Kubla Khan, a stately pleasure dome decree. And so we had a handmade wrought iron dome made over our entrance gate in various colours which was supposed to show the effervescence and colours of this beautiful pleasure dome and the handrail coming down. And then we had the person for Porlock which was also a very important part, the interruption of the person from Porlock. So we had him coming through the wall as though he was interrupting the artwork. And then we had we had a sunny pleasure dome with caves of ice, for he on honeydew hath fed and drunk the milk of paradise. And the mural that the community made with pieces of broken glass and beautiful sunny tiles and multitudes of colour 
was supposed to show the big explosion of colour and ice and water and fountain that illustrates those two lines.